So I'm here to tell you about two universal problems. The amount of food that we throw away, our farmers declining soil health, and a solution that might surprise you. It is absolutely crazy and completely inefficient that we as a society throw away 40% of the food that we grow. Every day, nearly every supermarket across the US throws away approximately 1,000 pounds of food. And the worst part is, is that a majority of that food currently goes to landfills, where it creates greenhouse gases. Meanwhile, people are going hungry. Our farmers are using more chemicals and more water to continue to grow our crops. And despite the UN attributing 2015 to the year of the soil, their recent report is that there's approximately only 50 more years left of nutrients in the ground to continue to grow our crops. Now, perhaps I may be a naive 28-year-old millennial entrepreneur. <laughs> Indeed, my generation finds girlfriends by swiping right. <laughs> but for me, these 50 years are far too close. And I believe that we can and that we already have solutions that we can scale immediately that can make meaningful and impactful change over the next five years, let alone the next 50. I was lucky enough to grow up in an entrepreneur-based family. My father developed, owned, and operated large-scale infrastructure across the US. And when my brother and I graduated college with engineering and environmental business degrees, we wanted to utilize that infrastructure platform to focus it on the sustainable technologies that can make universal impact. So the three of us set out with a team in California to eliminate food waste and revitalize our farmer's soil health. But we needed to do so in an economically viable way for the supermarkets that throw away the food, for the farmers that grow our crops, and for us as consumers and stewards of the environment. And interestingly enough, it was actually here on this TED platform that sparked our interest in biomimicry. See, biomimicry, which led to the creation of our technology, is the belief that nature, through its resilience, ingenuity, creativity, and thousands of years of adaptation, actually holds the solutions to many of our contemporary world's problems. That it is just up to the entrepreneurs, the scientists, and the likes to figure out ways to utilize and harness what nature is providing us in an environmentally regenerative and economically commercially viable way. So with the notion of combining biomimicry with scalable, profitable infrastructure, we came up with a thesis. Your human digestion process is actually the most efficient user of food. <laughs> Think about it. What you and I do three times a day is amazingly effective of taking food and breaking it down to the nutrient level. And all of that occurs within approximately three hours. For reference, composting takes about three to four weeks, allowing most of those nutrients to degrade over time. So we thought, why can't we just create a technology that we could scale to an infrastructure level that mimics this three-hour human digestion process? And after six years of R&D, I am now proud to say that we have successfully patented and commercialize this technology, a true combination of biomimicry and scalable, profitable business. Taking food waste and creating a liquid, sustainable, organic fertilizer that the very next day farmers are able to utilize in their soil and increase their soil health. Currently digesting 30,000 pounds of food every three hours. Our process is relatively simple. First, we provide the supermarkets these seafood grade bins. This increases store hygiene and reduces transportation costs. And it is important to note that we only collect food after any donations can occur, as the maximum usage of food will always be to be provided to humans. Additionally, we actually co-locate our manufacturing facilities in close proximity to the supermarket distribution centers thereby consciously eliminating and or reducing any additional greenhouse gases associated with the transportation of that food waste. Once at our facility, we take this balanced diet, meats, fruits, vegetables, and baked goods, put it through a grinder, very similar to your teeth, use digestive enzymes, very similar to your stomach, and within three hours, we have a liquid, nutriently dense, sustainable, and organic fertilizer. That fertilizer is then blended, for consistency purposes, and pasteurized. And the very next day, farmers are able to utilize the very same nutrients that you and I were buying at the supermarket yesterday to be put into the ground tomorrow, 
through their existing irrigation and fertilization equipment. And when you start to feed the soil healthy nutrients, amazing things start to occur. These two trees were planted at the same time. These two trees were planted at the same time on the same farm in California. The one on the left it uses chemical-based fertilizers. The one on the right utilizes our fertilizer. When you start to feed the soil healthy nutrients, amazing things start to occur. Overall, the UN did not just arbitrarily make 2015 the year of the soil. They did so for a reason. Just like you and I, if we are fed a chemical-based diet, our health starts to decline. And that's what's happening to our uh, soils. Our goal over the next five years is to deploy this technology across the US, completely eliminating all food waste across the country, and utilizing that to its maximum benefit to grow more produce the very next day. The positive notion is that people are starting to care. People care about where their food comes from, how it's grown, and what is in it, and the environmental effects of the agricultural industry. I believe that it is not a matter of should we be changing as a society, it is that we need to be changing as society. Creating scalable, profitable technologies that can have universal impact is imperative. We need to eliminate greenhouse gases from food waste. We need to increase our farmers' productivity and profitability. And increasing their soil health also sequesters a tremendous amount of greenhouse gases into their, uh, from the atmosphere. Indeed, finding solutions like this is imperative to the sustainability of this planet and to the survival of this species. Thank you.